Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. What's your name? I can't hear you, man. I'm Ephraim, man. Nice to meet you. Come on over here. All these five minutes of your time. We're gonna edify you, man. Bring it up. Understand who you are according to this Bible. That's right. Yes, sir. Do you see yourself on this chart? Talking to the mic. Do you see yourself on this chart at all? Well, who, who you are according to this chart right here? Read this chart. Read this. Right, right. So you're saying that you, you you sprung out of the tribe of Judah, right? You know which one you are, man? Nah, you're a Judah. Alright, so you say that's right. You're the Judah according to this chart here, right? Right. Alright. Bring it out. I'm gonna teach you who you are according to the Bible, man. That's right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Alright, this is Moses speaking to all of Israel, including yourself, according to that chart right there. This is with Judah now. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So you, as you just read, Moses told us that we're supposed to follow these laws according. If you said yourself as Judah according to that chart, we have a certain set of laws and commandments that we're supposed to be following. Right, right. And if, and if you didn't follow these, these curses will follow us generation to generation, meaning your dad, your kids, your grandpa, and so on and so forth. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So it's saying here, cursed shall be in the city. So you live right here in this city, you live in this area, man? What do you see around you when you're walking down the street? Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. What do you see? You see nothing but crime. Somebody got shot right. there, what, last week? You know, you see trash. Our, our grounds look like, have you ever been around in the neighborhoods, in the richer neighborhoods, like off of Shell Country? You don't see this. Right. right. You don't see this. Bring it out. You don't see the roads messed up. You don't see us jacked up, screaming right. bass music loud. They don't loud. They got the signs that says, Except excessive loudness is against the law. And they Bring it out. Right. right. And curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall thou be in the field. Now, you know anything about our history, man, at all? You know what black people had to do in the field? Pick cotton. Right. right. Just from the cotton fields. Also, today, we cursed in our fields. Are we cursed at our jobs? Right. right. We get minimal wage jobs. We get right. eight fifty, right. ten fifty, nine dollars an hour. We go up ice and pick up bales and throw this and put this there, fill up lemonades. I worked at Chick-fil-A for over two years. I know when I got out, I got injuries in my knees and stuff, and they weren't trying to pay me any more than that. Bring it out, huh? Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now what this is saying here is our, our, our in, in slavery, oh our gosh. people, right, our people were given to another people. We didn't have an option. We were, we were if we, if they, if Johnson, if Master Johnson wanted to take our kids and give them to another, give them to another plantation, all we can do is look at mourning, meaning crying. Right, right. right. Teach, There's huh? nothing that we can Bring do. Bring it out. Bring We didn't have five thousand dollars to drop on a lawyer and get our kids back. Right. right. And now, current times, if they come knocking at your door, doom, 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 your heart start racing. You're right. Like, Wait a right. minute. I'm not expecting anybody to come over my house. I didn't get a phone call. Bring right. it out. Show up your door, your heart starts racing. This Why? Right. Because you know that when those people are knocking at your door, something bad is about to happen. They about to take yeah. your kid. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Do you know what a proverb is? A proverb is a wise saying. 
You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's something that they say about us. What's, yeah, what's something it. catchy that they say about us all the time? And when you walk down the street, when your friends are talking, they say, black people, they want it here. Matter of fact, they're selling it here, right here at this liquor store right here. It's right here on the side for sale for $7.99. They say we love fried chicken. Right. They right. say we love watermelon. Bring it they out. They say we love all these different delicacies and things like that. And you're going to spend your money to go get it today. You know you're not supposed to be buying, but bro, we're gonna we gonna help we gonna edify you today, my man. And a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Right. So we got considered a byword. So they got all they got us all all kinds of names. We got um what do we got? Porch monkey. Negro, porch monkey, coon. You know, every, uh, these, these are probably because you're a little bit younger, but these are the names that they call me. Right. I've been, I, when I, as I'm walking down the street, I've been called in my lifetime, I've been called nigger five times, okay, in my lifetime. I'm 36 years old. But they yeah. never stood in front of me and told me that. They hate you. Right. But you're not going to know it until you, it faces you one day. Right. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. So it's telling us, it's telling us right here in the Bible, you're going to serve your enemies right. until you are in the grave. How are we going to serve our enemies? We're going to bring that out. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to serve because when you get a certain age, you're going to be working for them too. Right. right. In hunger. In hunger. Meaning we're right now, they got the $7.99 special for this chicken that you, you may perhaps you might buy today. You're right. not supposed to be because today's the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. This chicken is what's going to entice you to go up in that, in that uh, gas station right now and buy it right now. And in thirst. And in thirst, that drink that you have in your hand. What's right. that drink called? Is Dante making that? Is Tyrone making that? Is your buddy down the street making that? Bring it out. Bring it out. We do not own those bottle companies. Right, right. Did, none of our names are on that. Nothing. Not, not a bit. Read. And in nakedness. All right, that shirt on your back, if you pull up the tag and say it's made in Scandinavia or some Thailand, somewhere else, Thailand. we don't own the textile yeah. companies. And if you want to think about FUBU and the gentleman that owns, or if you ever seen the TV show Sharks, there's a white black man on the TV show that owns a company called Sharks. I mean, uh, called FUBU. He's a multi-millionaire, but yet he does not own any of the textile companies that make the materials that uh, uh, that he can lay, put his labels on. He still has to go to another nation of people. If you want to be specific, the, the dot on the head Indian people, they own those companies that he getting the material from in order to make his clothing line. Bring it out. And in want of all things. Your birth certificate, when you get old enough, your driver's license, right. you gotta go to the DMV. I don't know what it's called out here, MVD or MVD, MVR, whatever it is. We got a company we go to when we get these driver's license and they take your picture, tell you to smile. Right. It's gonna always be on the other side of that counter. It's either gonna be your, 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 your somebody serving them or it's gonna be that white man telling you, okay, you good to go, Mr. Johnson. You leave, you can do it. Right. You have to sign your name away first before you and know where they where you live know where you stay and everything about it continue to read and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck all right so i'm gonna give you an example of what a yoke of iron is all right you see this here bring it have out you seen the movie roots have you okay see these are kind of like old movies from my generation we have a lot of new movies called uh, uh, uh django uh, uh django django have you seen django all right, Django, you see him like this? They had, in the beginning of the, the first scene in the beginning of the movie, right. you seen brothers like this walking in a line with, along with two other two uh, other dudes on horses, two other right. white dudes on horses, taking them along the way, jacked up, right. no shoes on, shirts just looking just as poor and homely as this man right now. Right. And not, can't do nothing. Yeah, we the strongest, biggest, baddest, running, jumping, highest people right. on the planet, but he had no might. No might to overthrow those two dudes on horses. Right. Right. Tell me why is that? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Destroyed thee. We are destroyed as a people today. We are walking around calling each other's niggas. Right. Talking about, oh, well, I'm a get, I'm a, I'm a no cap. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. Bring it up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's like, yeah, I understand. I understand. I had to learn from one of my younger brothers what the heck that was. Bring it up. This is not something that. What? What? What are we doing? We're not even teaching each other nothing. Bring but it up. Right. Clever dances and lingos and and, and 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 knowing how to duggy. I don't know. What is that? What are we teaching our people? Bring it up. Bring it up. Huh? Teach, huh? Verse sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So it's saying right here, we're going to go, we're going to bring it, going to Egypt again. 
All right. But how are we gonna do it though? How are we gonna do it? It's important. With ships, they don't teach this in the schools no more. You know why? Because when I was in school, they just barely stopped. Bring it out. All right. They barely stopped. They just took religion out. I'm 36 years old. They took religion out of the schools. Soon as that happened, you learn how to dougie. You learn how to do the stanky leg. Okay. They teach you everything that's important. They teach you anything that's less important to us so we can remain at the bottom. So you can remain over here in these neighborhoods. So you can remain at the bottom of the totem pole. You know what a totem pole is, don't you? It's a totem pole, it's a big wooden statue with different faces on it. And on the top is the white man. And on the bottom are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What's your name, young man? Jake. Jake? DJ? What's your name, young man? Sir, nice to meet you. Come on over here, man. Find out who you are. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So as I mentioned, they packed us in like sardines on these ships. Right. Sardines. You know what sardines are? It's a can that you peel back and there's a bunch of little fish, you know, inside it. And we pack it up, we put it on our pizzas and some more mess. We, how did, how did, how did they use the restroom? Mm. Bring it out. How did they, how did, yeah. wait, wait, if they're stacked up like each other like this, how did they use the restroom? That means that this guy on the top, yeah. when he had to use the restroom, bloop, it lands on the, bo the brother below. Right. Right. See, so bring it up. They didn't, there's no way when you're on the boat, there's no way to get off and to use the restroom. There's no porta potties. There's no restrooms. It's, it's boop, okay. Stand up. fall on the next brother. That's how they treated us. That's how they continue to treat us this day. Right. Like, like, like flu. Like, like, like crap. Yes, sir. By the way, we're up, I spake unto thee. This is Moses. He said, Moses spake, spake unto us and told us that this will happen. This is a, a, a thought in his mind that he received from God. And he saw this and he predicted this. This book is over 5,000 years old. Bring it up. And this was prophesied now in your generation that this will happen 5,000 years later. Thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning your homeland. Have you ever been to Africa? Just, just on the coast. Just got even close. No, I haven't either, buddy. I like to go and visit one day, but it's saying right here, prophesies that we are not going to go back and see our motherland. A lot of us like to say we're from all Africa, but there are over what three three hundred different languages and over five thousand different countries. I'm sorry if I have that mistaken, but there's plenty of countries. And which one of those people do you belong to? Right. Which one of those tribes do you belong to? Right. Be specific, because not all those people over there are for you. Because right. I don't want to hey, go under some trap and get myself hurt. And ye, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men. Right. Bond men, you know what a bond man, you'll be sold unto your enemies. You know about uh, right. Black Friday, when it comes around around Christmas time, Bring it that's out. the best time to go get a TV, right? Right. So with that miss back in the day, they used to put us on these pedestals, line us up, shackled up, just like you see in this picture, and they would sell us. They will point out our qualities, the sizes. Look how big and look how strong he is. He's going to make you some good slaves. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.